What's the holdup? Keep the flashlight still. It's no good. The logs are wet. Move out of my way. <laughs> yeah, right. You're dreaming. Oh, I need paper. Hey, how about this? Perfect. No way! Chill, it's a comic book. It's not. It's a graphic novel. It's firewood. Hey, I could use this. Thanks. Hey! You ever wonder where they get the ideas for these things? Anchovy pizzas before bed? Gives me bad dreams. What if it's not made up? What if comic books were something more? Like what? Like a guidebook to another dimension. Whoa! <gasps> Comic books take you into a world of fantasy and adventure. But is it a place that comes from somebody's imagination? or somebody's experience. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story, The Tale of the Ghastly Grinner. was a comic book artist. Well, actually, he had dreams of being a comic book artist. Pass. Pass. Objective. So far, things weren't going so well. Rejected. Don't call us, we'll call you. Turn to sender. Come to the grand opening of Comic Books, Inc. Fun, prizes, come early, avoid the crowd. Avoid the crowd? What are you looking for, Cakes? Got a big sale on Dust Boy. Dollar a piece, four for five. Fishman. Reported by day, radioactive trope by night. I've never heard of him. Yeah, no one has. Can't give him away. Um, I got this. It's you. I hear you're pretty good. What? Well, come on, Cakes. Don't be shy. Did you bring some of your drawings? How did you know I draw? Word travels. Let me see. Come on, I'm a professional. I'm not very good. I've been trashed by every publisher on the planet. Oh, I don't always listen to what people say, Cakes. A lot of those Zoomers wouldn't know talent from... Uncas. Pardon? You're a little rough around the edges, Cakes. But you draw like one of the greats. Sylvester Uncas. Who? Ever hear of the ghastly grinner? Uh, no. A villain so hideous, his mere laugh could reduce his victims to giggling idiots. Issue one, volume one. Drawn by Sylvester Uncas. He was a genius, 
but didn't have the guts for the Grinner. It was so frightening. He only drew one issue, and then he disappeared. This is the only copy left. And it's all yours. I can't afford this. Grand opening special. It's on the house. You're kidding. Thanks! Don't thank me, Cakes. Thank Sylvester Uncas. Wherever he is. Microwaves. Who can tell me how they work? Of course, you know, Miss Piccolaro. Let's give someone else a try, shall we? Come now, surely those sugar-glazed brains are able to generate a zombie or two. How about you, Mr. Wood? Priorities, Mr. Wood. We have only so much room in our minds. We mustn't seek to fill it with tripe. You can't. It's one of a kind. Correction. It's none of a kind. <gasps> Microwaves work by exciting the molecules of the target object, stimulating them to a higher state. <laughs> Got a call from school today, Ethan. They said you were causing trouble in class again. Well, Mr. Wrightson hates me. He doesn't hate you. He just doesn't want to see you wasting your time on comic books. This is the end, son. We'll get one more call like that, and there'll be no comic books for you until you finish college. What? It's for your own good, honey. Those silly comic books are an addiction. <laughs> <laughs> I sit across from you in Mr. Wright's in science class. You know, glasses, sweater, braces. I guess I'm a nerd. Oh, right. I mean, you're not a nerd. That's OK. I think a person should know what they are and work with it. John, I'm making pizza waffles. Do you want one? Did you want something? I just want to say that what Mr. Wrightson did to you in class today was really creepy, you know? John! Well, that's nice of you to say. I mean it. I think you're a really great artist. And... Maybe you 
you should open the door to get rid of this. Oops. <gasps> Too late. <laughs> Jokes lately, Ethan? I sit across from you, Mr. Wright's in science class. Get down! What are you doing here? I heard the explosion over the phone. What's going on? I don't know how, but I think I just brought this guy to life. Ghastly grinder? A grinner. He feeds off people's emotions and drains them till they're nothing but laughing idiots. I think he got my parents. We should tell somebody. My parents! Mom! Hi, come on in and meet Uncle Bob. <laughs> I don't have much of a sense of humor, Ethan. Yeah? Well, I don't have an Uncle Bob. <laughs> Shop. Maybe that lady knows how to stop the grinner. Okay, but I'll have to be home by six. There's got to be a clue in here somewhere. Something that tells us how to send the grinner back. Oh my gosh, your parents. My parents. Us. Ethan. It's not real. It's just a comic book. Not if you believe in the Uncansian theory. Sylvester Uncas always said he wasn't just drawing comics. He was creating guidebooks to other worlds, real worlds. He seems like a nutcase. That's what everyone thought until he drew the ghastly grinner. Uncas stumbled onto something far too evil to be toyed with. And he wanted to put a stop to it before it was too late. This was to be the final issue. The death of the ghastly grinner. It's not done! Before he could finish, the grinner got him. He hasn't been seen since. And now, you've brought the grinner into this world where he can have all the fresh victims he could possibly want. How do you know all this? Sylvester Uncas was my father. That's why I sent you the invitation cakes. That's why I gave you the comic. You've got the touch. I want you to finish his work and bring my father back. How? I'm not microwaves. What? what? That's how you brought him through in the first place, right? And that's how Uncas wanted it to end. 
Yeah, right. Where am I going to find a microwave oven that big? Not an oven. Mr. Wright's an oven. No, the only way to stop the... Yeah, I know. You sit across from me in Mr. Wright's in science class. So, think this will work? As long as the paraboloids sustain the initial microwave intensity and the focal region is sufficiently agitated... Um, yeah. Listen, Hooper. It might get dangerous. You don't have to stay. What about you? I started this thing. I gotta finish it. Then I'm staying too. I hope there's an explanation for this. Um, not one that you'd buy. This is no laughing matter, young man! <laughs> the microwaves! <laughs> tried to tell us how to beat the Grinner. We just didn't get it. I hope this is better than your microwave idea. Microwaves are the answer. We just weren't using them right. There's only one way to beat him. You've got to finish the drawings. That's what she wanted you to do. Me, I can't do that. Why not? I'm not good enough. Yes, you are. I believe in you, Ethan. She believed in you. But if you don't believe in yourself, we're doomed. much of a sense of humor. Hey, Smiley! Ah. Who's laughing now? <laughs> Ethan? Stay with me, we're getting out. 
Laughing. I. I guess I'm glad you're not dead. So am I. Ah. Uh, Ethan, Hooper, I want you to meet my father, Sylvester Uncas. Wow. I knew you could do it, Ethan. I believe these belong to you. We always encouraged Ethan's talent, didn't we, dear? <laughs> oh, we knew from the very beginning that he was going to be a star. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester Uncas never drew a comic again. He had enough excitement for one lifetime. As for Ethan, well, you might say he finally made it into the comics. Continued next issue. That was really, a uh... Ghastly. <laughs> <laughs> I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. Thanks for letting me borrow. That was awesome. <laughs> you did my work. Yeah. Cool. 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 Cool.